Good morning and welcome to the wingman's path where we raise our vibration. We send out, we practice sending out positive energy and when we do, we receive back more of what we want, more joy, more happiness, more success, more creativity, more confidence, more joyousness. Where we create, we begin to create our most joyous life, the life you and I, that we, right, were intended to join, to, to, to build this life that we were intending for ourselves. My name is Michael Gross, in case you don't know me, and, and I, I guess I created the wingman's path to positivity somehow in my own mind from a combination of, I guess, science and law of attraction. And really what I came up with is because I'm a simple guy is if I could just practice positivity for one minute a day, right? If I could just practice for one minute a day, I wanted to see what it would do for my vibration and for my life. And I can honestly tell you it's been marvelous in that it's built, I've created a life that I love where I'm traveling around the world and I'm helping other people bring more positive energy into their lives, right? Right? And I thank you guys for, for pra sharing your energy with me today and practicing with me today so we all can start building our positive energy up. I really appreciate you doing that and I really appreciate you sharing these videos and sharing these practices with your loved ones and friends and community because the bigger our community gets, the easier it is, as you know, right? As you know, the easier it is for all of us to bring more positive energy into our lives. So I thank you for joining me today. Thank you. Today's practice comes to us from a, a children's book that I read uh, years ago called a View, the View for, A View from Saturday by E.L. Konigsberg. It's a marvelous story about a, a young teacher who has a car accident and she becomes a paraplegic and when she comes back, she's lost some of her confidence and she picks four students, I think sixth graders, to compete in the academic bowl. So they, they become her team and, and what it does for her and them, all of them. And it's just a marvelous story. I urge you to read it. I urge you to read it whether, you ha whether you're a child or have children, it will be a wonderful read and it doesn't take that long. But in it, there's a quote that I always, always, always have remembered where she says to them, you're not preparing to start. You've already started. You're not preparing to start. You already started. And this came up the other day because I was speaking with, a, with someone who said they're starting September 1st in a couple of days, they're going to start losing weight, right? They're gonna, yeah, we've all done this, right? We've all said, ah, starting this date, I'm going to do this. For me, it was start to build a better life. It was start to build a better life. And that's how this whole thing started. And what I say is, you're not preparing to start, you've already started. I want you to get that into your subconscious so you remember. You're not preparing to start, you've already started creating what you want to create. Achieving the goal you want to achieve. If you've set your goal out, as a matter of fact, Napoleon Hill, in his wonderful book, uh, The Business Bible, I call it, Think and Grow Rich, has a six-step plan to creating anything you want. And step four, I believe, is... Right, create a plan to achieve your goal and start immediately, whether you're ready or not. You're not preparing to start, you've already started. So if you're thinking on that, that in the next couple days, you're gonna start building a, a, a better life or losing weight or getting better health or making more money or having a better relationship. Well, I say to you right now, get it into your subconscious. We're gonna practice it together, right? Because for me, when I, pra when I say to myself, I'm not preparing to start, I've already started. It kicks me in the rear end, it gets me going. It says, listen, dude, you're not preparing, you've already started, let's start doing this, let's get into it. And I think the best way to start is to create a plan. So today, I want us to say together, I'm not preparing to start, I've already started. I'm not preparing to start, I've already started. And as you say it, I want you to think about Start imagining this wonderful achievement, this wonderful goal you want to achieve, and start coming up with a plan. And maybe today will be the day you actually write that plan up and get into it, because you're not preparing to start. You've already started. So join me and let's say it. Ah, I'm not preparing to start. 
I've already started. I'm not preparing to start. I've already started. Cindy, Linda, you know what I mean? You're not preparing to start. You've already started. Once you think about what you want, once you come up with the idea in your head of what you want to achieve, well, you're no longer preparing to start. You've already started. Start moving in the direction of your dreams, right? You're not preparing to start. You've already started. I'm not preparing to start. That's right. I'm not preparing to start. I've already started. And I'm starting right now. I've already started. I'm not preparing to start. And you're not preparing to start. We've already started creating our dreams. I thank you so much for joining me today for a practice that I hope gets into your subconscious so you start building the life you imagined. Have a wonderful day. If you want some help on that, of course, as you know, I, I have a mastermind group starting in September. Have a wonderful day where you start moving in the direction of your goals and achieving your dreams. And I'll see you again tomorrow. Your wingman, Michael, signing off.